Golden Investment Rule 90 Years Without Knowing the Smell of Loss and the Story When You Live Long Enough, You Will Become a Legend. Many investors may surpass Irving Kahn in terms of profitability for a year, but no one on Wall Street could beat his 90-year record of zero loss. In 2012 when investment legend Warren Buffett celebrated his 82nd birthday, many people thought he was the oldest investor, but no, the world's oldest investor was then 25 years older than Buffett. Irving Kahn, then 107 years old, served as president of Kahn Brothers Group, a New York-listed corporation specializing in investment and fund management consulting with a capital of nearly $1 billion. People on Wall Street still said, if Kahn died half a century earlier, no one would know who he was. Benjamin Graham's pupil is not an investor who can impress in the short term. His rate of return is only on Wall Street average, something that many investors will pass Kahn if only considering within one year. However, no one on Wall Street could win continuously for 90 years, a time series longer than the age of legendary investor Warren Buffett. His secret, somewhat similar to Buffet, is not to expect big profits, just hope not to lose money. Irving Kahn started working on Wall Street as a stock analyst in 1928 when he was 23 years old. In addition, he is one of the first CFA holders in the world, 1963, and is considered a founding member of the CFA Association. During the 1930s American crisis, his name was known by Wall Street through investing in radio and film companies, but the field was still booming despite the crisis. Panic Khan's famous quote at that time, you may be surprised, but there are many stocks worth buying during the crisis. Even if the world encountered many other crises later, Khan's investment fund did not suffer, though he might not be the most profitable when the market grew. Khan's investment style is somewhat similar to that of the prophet Ahama, who was an assistant to Benjamin Graham at Columbia University. Working and studying with Graham, Khan became a valuable investor. His principle, like many other value investors, is to buy only stocks with good fundamentals, which are not affected by the economic cycle. For Irving Kahn, investment is a mixture of science and art, which requires both qualitative and quantitative analysis to accurately determine the value of an investment. Unlike many other investors with the principle of not putting eggs in the same basket, Kahn does not matter to diversify the portfolio to limit risk. He respected his philosophy and said that when applied correctly, there would be no risk in investment. Khan has the notion that a portfolio is like an orchard and he often chooses stocks with high growth potential, which are undervalued by the market and are willing to hold that stock from 3-5 years. And of course, the expectation is that all the plants in the garden are fruitful every year which is quite irrational. With Khan, a successful crop, it may take three to five years to wait. When investing in a company, he likes companies with little or no debt. In addition, the board of directors must hold a certain amount of stock to ensure that the board of directors' interests are tied to the interests of other shareholders. The average rate of return for funds managed by Khan will not be impressive if you look in the short term. Sometimes this number is quite low compared to other investment legends like Warren Buffett or George Soros, even Wall Street's anonymous investors. But in return he barely lost, and his non-stop time series amounted to 90 years, more than Warren Buffett's age. And when you win in a long enough time, compound interest will work. That is also the reason for his participation in the list of legendary investors of the world. When he was over 100 years old, Irving Kahn remained in the habit of walking to the company to work and going home to lunch to save money on food at the restaurant. He still plays an important role in the Kahn Brothers family fund and often spends five hours a day researching stocks that are undervalued. His portfolio is mainly focused on finance and healthcare. Not only is a great Wall Street investor, Kahn was a director of many companies like Teleregister Corp., Hugo Stinsco, Grand Union Stores, Kings County Lighting, West Chemical, and Wilcox and Gibbs. In the publication of the Global CFA Association's 50th anniversary, Irving Kahn also made its first appearance in a short interview. 
He died in 2015, when he was the oldest investor in the world at 110 years old.